tell me where you are right now. We are in California, the place that's always on fire. I'm going to drop some water out of my airplane for my video. There, is that good enough? No, where, but where are you right now? I, I, outside. RC Airfield? RC Airfield in California. In, in, in Los Angeles? Yeah, whatever. You, I'm trying to help you structure your video. Uh, hello, I'm Peter Schriepel, uh, famous aeronautical engineer, uh, second to none to the Wright brothers. We are in Southern California in Van Nuys at the Apollo Airfield. It's a remote control airfield. It's free to use. Uh, free to abuse, that's what we're doing right now. And today I built an airplane with my friends to put out these Jesus candles to help California in its never ending quest to, to not be on fire. All right, Lit Fam. All right, Lift Fam. Lift Fam, I appreciate that. My content's going downhill. I, I think that was one of my complaints in my videos that when I came out here, my content quality. I didn't ask for a description about your content quality. I asked for a description of what you're doing right now. All right, we're building the water bomber. Right, I get this thing done so we can drop some water. I'm gonna build this first, and then I'm gonna work on the mechanism to drop the water, and then we're gonna put it all California because it's always on fire. Are oh, you're gonna help California? I don't really want to. But... So you're gluing the front together right now? Yeah, I'm gluing the front together right now. Does it fly already? The maiden voyage. Define fly. Hey Lit Fam, welcome to Peter Sreeple's channel. Remember to eat your vegetables, dab on your haters, and smoke crack every day. Is that how you do your intros normally? Uh, Where are you at in this project, Peter? I'm giving you an opportunity to explain something to the camera instead of just shooting a montage. Well, I was gonna narrate over the montage, but I guess you forced my hand. All right. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you dirty dog. All right, so work on the wings. I had to get these done. I got yardsticks, because this is gonna be a yardstick build. So a spar? Use, it's a spar made of a yardstick. <laughs> Plane is ready to fly. Actually, we need to do the water thing. Your hey, William. Plane is ready to crash. William, can you help me? We need to go to the store and get stuff. Yeah, I like these because this is going to cause wildfires. People leave them by the side of the roads, they fall over, they set the place on fire. The water bomb we're building is going to be targeting these, basically. So we're going to get rid of the EC Homo and just judge. Hey, you, I actually, what does that I, mean? I, I don't even know. I'm putting them in the car. <laughs> Just judge. Powerful hand. Ooh, yes, Ziploc bags. Uh, what was the thing you were saying a second ago? So if you get the Ziploc bag and you hang it vertically like this, inside the plane, drop a weight out of the bag, it'll unzip it. What are you doing? Okay, chaps, we were at the store with my local friend, um, uh... Why are you doing, um, why are you doing uh, that? Uh, <laughs> Tom to do Stanton, right Tom told Stanton. me to use those Ziploc bags to put water <laughs> Hello. in the airplane. And this is a good idea. Because I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna. This just, is, wait, what is this? This is a bag of water. Hello, governor! I'm Colin Burris! See, that's much better than your accent. That's how you do the British accent. I'm gonna have a rubber band here connected to the zipper. 
when I when I release the pin, it it'll get unzip real fast, and it'll basically do this. Wow! Wow! wow. There's people dying, Peter. That's no! Right. No! Oh, no! Oh, oh, you un you flipped it up. You flipped oh. it up, and then you unzipped it, and then you turned it back over. That's not what you were trying to demo. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna claw my face. How do you like being called British, Peter? The predator looks on at its prey, waiting for the perfect opportunity to strike. All right, you're the prey. <laughs> okay, fam. Look, I look so. Fam. Good. All right, fam. <laughs> check it out. So I think this is gonna work. So we have half the Ziploc bag, and we got this box. So the goal is to put the zipper on here, and then you know. Like someone's calling. Yeah, go for it. Whoa. Whoa. Peter, oh, we are Peter, in the shot. Peter, do not fear. Not our fear. our solution is, is right is here. Right here. Oh, Look, it's it's a oh, it's God. a wire, and, and wait, I want instead of oh, yeah. the limit switch, you guys brought me that. And yeah. so when it reaches the end, it goes boop. I guess you, the viewer, will figure out what that means in the future. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is how this works because uh, I'm pretty sure all my my actual viewers have left by now, <laughs> or fast forward. <laughs> The boomers who get mad at you yeah. for the boomers them. have been, are mad. The at boomers them. who get yeah. mad at you for hanging out with William Osmond. The zipper gets unzipped. This motor is going to basically spool this string in, and then once it gets to here, there's going to be too much friction. And that's when your dumb little plug mechanism is going to unplug it. Wait, it, yeah. It moves here, and the motor's still running, and all of a sudden, boop, and it'll it's a lot of stalling. Oh, it stalled completely. Oh no. All right, let's try six point well seven volts. There it is. Oh, what am I looking at? All right, so I took your crappy idea, all of our collectively garbage ideas, mostly Tom's. Yeah. <laughs> and look what happens when I hit the switch. That's cool. And it's open. Oh, oh, you use the uh, you use the <laughs> jumper pullout method. That's wait, wait. I want to see. I want to catch that in action. That's hilarious. I mean, simple works great. Do you want to explain why the jumper pullout method is so great? Uh, you pull it out before anything bad happens. Because well, you don't, you, you're gonna reset it by hand, so it doesn't matter. You don't need to have it like super <laughs> awesome. This airplane, I call it the Unabomber. <laughs> <laughs> Feels wrong. Oh! oh! <laughs> All right, you ready? Yeah, give birth three, in three. Two. What? Here we go. Oh! That's <laughs> nice and juicy. It's still, it's still going. Wow, Peter, I, Peter I, I think your plane's about to give birth. I hate it. It was such a slow, gross, like, ooze <laughs> out. So we're at the airfield now, and I gotta get this bird in the air before the uh, other boobs come back, because we're doing two videos. You're gonna see this plane drop gravy. <laughs> oh my god! The <laughs> But we're gonna do the water first. I need to take on a quick test flight real fast, make sure everything's good. Love the water, then you do the video. Let's go check on Peter and see how he's doing. Um, because we have very limited sunlight left because we're very pl bad at planning things. Peter, Peter, how's it going? It's going somewhere. It's working? It's not spilling out, is it? Oh, that was oh, way... Exactly. You what? I missed the mark completely. Totally missed it. I totally missed it. It takes like a whole like five seconds. All right, I'm gonna load it up again. Can you get the candles? Uh, yeah, yes. We need to extinguish the Jesus candles. 
<laughs> uh, California and fire don't get along great, and we, we assumed the safest thing to get for this experiment was Jesus candles. There's no way Jesus candles could possibly light anything on fire. Good thing it's kind of wet already. Also, please explain the choice of candles. They look cool and they're by the road, so I'm, I'm assuming they're probably causing some of the wildfires around here. I don't know. Jesus wouldn't do that. Hey Peter, I've just noticed your plane is hemorrhaging water. Are you gonna like fly it right towards your face? Okay. I'm gonna hide behind you, okay? Yeah, hide never hits you. burning you can't snuff the light from these Jesus candles Peter oh, no. you can't snuff the Jesus candles I think my approach speed was too fast we're gonna take off William I need your help for this because last time I was flying way too One fast second, Peter. someone's calling me oh my god okay, okay. hurry up bye okay so when I say go yeah you pull this one down all the way oh down. I have a job <laughs> Tomorrow is Thanksgiving, by the way, so we're trying to get these videos done to post in the next 12 hours. So what did we learn today? I don't know, Peter. What did you tell me? It's your video. Uh, uh, this kind of sucked, honestly. No, it didn't. It was epic. No, I mean, I, I guess they're titling the, it's titled Water Bombing Plane yeah. that almost killed Nile Red and, uh, and uh, yeah, that's face? what it's called. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. But basically, yeah. Okay, this is awful. I'm going to do this again in the future. I just don't have the resources and time here. It works better with the drone. I did that in the past at the flight test. You can probably see the video somewhere. Um, Boo! <laughs> shut up, Bobby. Go check out the video where William stole Peter's plane yeah. and okay, did yeah, almost yeah. zero work. William, yeah, yes, William stole right. my video. He basically unsubscribe made me hard. From Peter yeah, I cut my finger subscribe to William. William's video. Also, and Alan just, just unsubscribed from Nigel. Alan has a video with the turkey. And and unsubscribe that. from Tom too. Yeah, yeah. Tom doesn't need any more subscribers. Did Alan post this video? Al Alan's gonna post this video when this video goes out. So chances are, if you see this crappy video, you can go watch Alan's train wreck where he almost burns down William's new garage. Uh, I forgot about that. Thanks All for right. reminding me. I think that's it, fam. All right, dab. Dab, dab, dab for the viewers. Dab. <laughs>